Hi everyone, and welcome to the Rhydon Ski Goggles tutorial. Our ski goggles run Eris, the Augmented Reality Operating System. To make things simple, we'll say AR instead of Augmented Reality. There are three types of Augmented Reality elements in our world. Screen Lock, Sky Icons, and World Lock. Screen Lock elements are elements that are fixed to your screen. At the top left, you can see the radar showing you friends, game elements, and dangers on the slopes. The speed bar is there to give you a feel of your actual speed without writing numbers. An empty bar means you're going at 0 km per hour, and a full bar is 100 km an hour or 60 miles an hour. You've also got an indication of your altitude and how much battery you have left. The second kind of element are the sky icons. You can see them by looking up. Sky icons are fixed to the world above you. They will move with you, but they're not fixed to the world or the screen, rather to you. The music sky icon will let you play or pause your music, skip to the next song, or go back to the previous one. By clicking the camcorder sky icon, you'll start or stop recording a video. When you start recording a video, you'll have a red light indicator at the top right of your screen. The map sky icon will open your resort map in either 2D or 3D. Once the map is open, the red arrow will always show you which way you're looking. Slopes will be color-coded according to the rating. By clicking on the game sky icon, you'll begin our AR game. The game will draw AR elements on the actual ski slope where you're about to begin your ride. By passing as close as you can to the elements, you collect more points. Do your best and get a high score, and maybe you'll be on our worldwide high score board. You can also mark dangers on the ski slope. Click the danger sky icon and a countdown will begin. There will be an indicator wherever you're looking, and once the countdown ends, the point at which you're looking is where the danger mark will appear. Like our videos? Have any questions? Leave your feedback in the comments below.